Hey guys, welcome back to One All's Pub. Well, I just got done filming uh, a really long Hinderer XM18 Skinner video, and in that video, I talked about how I have uh, have this habit of selling off knives and later regretting it. Um, and so it kind of inspired me then just to do a really quick little video here um, before I break everything down off the bar top and uh, about that topic. Um, on the bar top in front of you, you'll see three knives in particular that um, you've seen me do videos on on this channel, but um, they've all been sold and then rebought. Um, this particular one, I, I, I sold, this is the uh, Lion Steel SR2A, uh, and then bought it back, the very same knife from the guy I sold it from. Um, so this is the actual same knife you've seen previously, but the Southerd here wearing the uh, beautiful blue G10 and carbon fiber layered custom scale by my good buddy Rick over at the Toad Sticker channel. Um, this is not the same Southerd that you've seen previously on this channel. As a matter of fact, that Southerd, Rick, Toad Sticker, owns that. He bought it from me. Um, and I missed that knife and rebought one and then actually had it just drop shipped directly to him and had him put this scale on it. If you follow me on IG, you've seen this scale of plenty, but uh, that's another knife that I bought and sold and then rebought. And my latest one, kind of in that vein, is the uh, Spider Co. Yojimbo 2. Uh, again, you've seen uh, me do an initial impressions video on this, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so, however long ago it was, I don't remember exactly. Uh, Bert, why don't you put links up to all the uh, original videos on these guys? Um, and uh, sold it. Uh, actually sold it to the same guy I sold this knife to and tried to buy it back from him, but he wouldn't let me have it. <laughs> He's like, nope, I like that knife too much. So I just went out and uh, picked myself up another one um, because I got this one off of Blade Forums. Got a pretty good deal on it, actually, too. So I feel like I did good. Um, and uh, and all three of these knives are like, man, why did I ever sell these? You know, as soon as I got rid of them, I'm like, man, that was dumb. Um, and immediately missed them, and uh, they kind of... Uh, cycled around to the point where um, I wanted to go ahead and grab them again. Um, so uh, just the point being that, uh, you know, as knife nuts, we have a tendency to be into what we're into, the newest thing that we've got, and, man, that's so cool, and then what do we want next? And some of the really neat stuff that we've had um, that is now a little bit more older hat and we're kind of used to owning, we start to think of as being... Um, uh, expendable um, in, in the, in the uh, never-ending knife nut pursuit of what's next on the horizon. Uh, and sometimes, uh, at least in my case, I overshoot and I, and I, and I sell knives that really I shouldn't sell. Um, there are others, uh, and I may pick up additional ones um, as well. I've kind of got an itch for a couple others that I've owned in the past that I'm now regretting having sold. Uh, so I may pick up a couple more. Uh, and if I do, I'll bring them, probably bring them back here to the bar top. But these three are kind of the main three that kind of epitomize that um, that mindset. Uh, all three of these are excellent knives. Uh, the initial reviews I did on, I'm not going to redo that. Uh, great EDC knives all around, all three of these guys. Totally different blade shapes on all three of them. Oh, by the way, he also did the... Uh, carbon fiber. If you look really closely on this, I don't have the light will light to see it, but this is that, if he sanded this, and you can see blue in there too. It's not always, in the, in the right light you can see it well, but as I said before, the pub is not exactly the best lighting, but yeah, I think you can see a little bit of it there. Uh, and he also had him acid wash the clip to more match the uh, blade finish. So I think that looks way better. Don't you, don't you agree? Yes, you do. Killer knife. 204P. Wicked edge. Um, like I said, all three different blade shapes. Um, and all three great EDC knives. Uh, all three knives worthy of owning. Not just once, but twice. Twice is nice. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys out there can relate. Um, and uh, I'm sure I'm not the only guy that's bought a knife and then sold it, and then bought it back. Maybe sometimes even the exact same one. <laughs> All right, again, just want to do a quick video, show these off, let you know I still do have them, or 
and I still do have them. I have reacquired them. Let me put it that way. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. That's one else two cents. Keep the change. Slaunch you.